In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom search engine that you can embed on your own website. A custom search engine allows you to decide what sites will be searched when terms are entered into the search box. It's good to use for students because you can restrict the search to sites that you know are good or relevant or that you want them to use. Start by going to google.com forward slash CSE for custom search engine. You need to be signed into your Google account in order to create this search engine. When you're ready to begin, click create a custom search engine. The first thing you're going to do is select the sites that you want your students to search. I'm going to click in the box and add one and as soon as I do I see a box another box for me to add more. Enter as many as you like. You can also add for example dot edu. By using the asterisk dot edu anything that is an edu site will be included in your search. I'm setting the language to English and I'm changing the name to something more friendly for my students. Then I click create. I could just get the code or the public URL at this point but I also have a couple of options that I might want to use before I do that. By clicking here to edit my search engine, I can change the look and feel so that I have a different kind of result. Maybe I'll choose compact. I can change the theme and it does show you a little preview here on the side and I can decide whether or not I want thumbnails in my search results. I can also customize the colors to whatever I want. When I'm finished, I can either click Save or Save and Get Code. I'll just click Save. It then tells me to refresh the page so that I can see the latest changes. I'll do that. I can go back to the Setup tab to get the public URL or the code to embed. I'll click the public URL and here's my site. So let's test it out. I'm going to click in the box and I'm going to type Alabama state flower and see what comes up. And the results are good. I have net state, the camellia, and here's a picture. And then I have something from an EDU site. And I have some more about state symbols. So you can see these results are a lot better than what I might get if students were just to go directly into Google and search that way. So now let's see how to get this custom search onto a website. There are a couple of things you can do to include your Google custom search on a website. You can click the public URL and copy this link and include a link to it, or you can click to get the code and copy and paste this code in an HTML box on your site. But if you want to put it on a Google site, it's a little bit different. This is how you do it. I have my Google site here and I'm going to click on the More button 
and go to Manage Site. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see that I have the search options here. So I'm going to click to config configure search. Search is enabled and it's searching this site. So what I need to do is add my custom search site, my custom search engine, to the site so that I can copy and have my students use it. I click on the advanced tab and go to add provider. When I click on this tab search across multiple sites I can get Google custom search where I type in here I'm going to type in the name that I want my students to see state research and then I need the custom search engine URL so to get that I'm going to go back to the custom search engine click for the public URL and copy it paste it in here and say OK. Now State Research Custom Search Engine is showing as an additional search provider. I can go back to the General tab and add it. I can leave this site checked or not checked. I'll leave it not checked. And say OK. Save. And when I go back to my site, you can see that the state research is up here at the top. And if I type in Alabama State Flower, I will get the same results that I got when I looked before. 